Olympic gold. How did the USA just make ice dancing history with a little help from a Dancing with the Stars champ? So this is the biggest stage. This is what we've dreamed about. Then we were able to come through on the ice and make it count. Relieved and excited. The USA's golden pair this morning on Today. Marilyn, Charlie, so proud of you guys. You guys deserve it. Love you. The secret to their win may have been in the moves from their choreographer, Derek Huff. The five-time winner of Dancing with the Stars couldn't be in Russia. He's been working on the music video Let Me In from the film Make Your Move out April 18th. But Derek revealed to us how he would stay connected. I actually have an app on my phone that keeps me up to date with what's going on with the Olympics. I can find out in real time what's happening. I want to feel like I'm there uh, with them. After the win, Derek tweeted, Gold! First time America has ever won gold in this event. History was made. Hashtag proud. Wahoo! What does winning gold mean for the two? Fox Business Network reporter Sandra Smith told ET, more gold. These two are extremely marketable. They're the American dream. It's all about the endorsement deals. It means commercials, book deals. It can mean a lot of things. For the first endorsement, you're looking at a hefty half million dollar payday. We think snowboarder Sage Kotzenberg could become the new face for Gillette Razors and hockey hero TJ Oshie the latest to cash the Nike check. These Olympic gold medals turn into a lot of green. Scott Hamilton's made about $30 million since winning his Olympic gold medal. Christy Yamaguchi and Brian Boyatano have each made about $18 million. When you win a gold medal, your life changes in an instant. We went to Sochi to talk with skater Tara Lipinski, now age 31, a winner at 15. She knows the power of gold. You know, after winning Olympics, I felt how everything changed. Did it ever. Her personality and winning form led right to Madison Avenue. We're cheering for you, Olympic skater Barbie. Tara became quite the TV pitch person, selling everything from tea to soup to dolls. You make dreams come true. But Tara's ultimate dream to be a TV correspondent. I'm giving ET a gold medal look at the games. So we helped her with that in 2002. Only for entertainment tonight. Fast forward 12 years, Tara's at the top of her game, covering skating from Sochi for NBC. He's actually in a good position going into the free skate. I would definitely love to continue this career because you're still part of your sport, but without all the pressure. 